so in this video I'm going to talk about ions. Um, so ions are just charged particles. Now everything I'm going to say here I'm, it will be summarised and written down on a um, photo at the end of the video. So don't worry too much if it's not written up here as I'm talking about it. So ions are charged particles and basically if a substance or a, an atom, it's usually atoms that we talk about in National 5, but you can get ion molecules as well. Uh, but essentially if uh, a substance has lost electrons it will become a positive ion if it gains electrons it will become a negative ion now the reason atoms become ions is because they're trying to obtain a stable electron arrangement so they're trying to get a full outer shell of electrons just like the noble gases um, because like we know, as we know the noble gases are the cool kids on the periodic table that everyone wants to be like because they're so stable and cool so this here I've drawn a lithium atom. Now lithium as an atom it's not stable because it doesn't have a full outer shell of electrons. It's got one electron in its outer electron shell. Remember the electron arrangements are shown to you in the data booklet so you don't need to uh, remember them off by heart. You would just look them up if you were doing any questions on atoms or ions in relation to electron arrangements. So the electron arrangement for lithium is 2-1. Now, for lithium to become stable, it needs to fill its outer shell, which is the second level. So we know that the, out the second level it will take eight electrons. So it can either gain seven electrons, which is quite a lot of electrons, or it can lose one. So because losing one electron involves less electrons being transferred, it, that's what happens, it loses an electron. So if we go over here, the lithium ion then loses its outer electron so it ends up with just two so its electron arrangement is just two like helium so it you'll notice the number of protons in the nucleus hasn't changed okay, if we change the number of protons in the nucleus we don't actually have that element anymore so when it comes to forming ions and becoming stable the only thing that changes is the electrons okay, electrons are either gained or lost between atoms in order for them to become stable now, because the lithium has lost one electron, it's not neutral anymore because there's three positive charges in the middle and now there's only two negatives. So because we've got three positives and only two negatives, that means it has a net overall charge of one positive. So if we were going to write the chemical symbol for a lithium ion, we would write Li positive. Okay? Um, we don't need to put the 1 in front of the positive, just like in maths when you're doing algebra, if you've just got 1x, you just write x, you don't write 1x, so it's the same with charges in chemistry. Alright, so all metal ions, as a rule of thumb, will become positive, or will be positive. So any metal atoms that are becoming stable, they will always be losing electrons, so they will always end up as a positive ion. So now we're going to look at a non-metal atom, so I've picked oxygen for this one. So the oxygen atom has the electron arrangement 2,6. And again, you can always look that up in the data booklet. So if it's going to become stable, like a noble gas, it will need to fill its outer shell. So to fill the second level, again, we need eight electrons. So in order to do that, it would gain two electrons. If it was going to lose its outer shell, like the metals, it would lose six electrons. And again, that takes involves more electrons being transferred. So it's always the option that involves the least number of electrons being exchanged between atoms. Because the electrons have to go and come from somewhere. They can't just disappear into nowhere. So that's exactly what happens. The oxygen will gain two electrons. So its new electron arrangement becomes 2,8. And that's the same electron arrangement as neon. So if we draw that in here, there's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now that's stable. Again, though, we now don't have a neutral species anymore. It's not a neutral atom because we don't have the same number of protons and electrons, so the charges don't cancel each other out. So we've got ten, uh, 10 negative charges and eight positive charges, which means that we have a net charge of two negative. So if we were writing the chemical symbol for the oxygen ion, we'd be writing O2 negative. See? And oxygen always becomes a two negative ion. It can't become an ion with any other charge because if it has a different charge, it's not going to be stable because the only charge that gives it stability is a two negative charge. Okay? So, again, 
like with metals, the rule of thumb with the non-metals is they always become negative ions because they're usually always having to gain electrons in order to obtain their stable full outer shell. So as with most rules, there are exceptions and there is an exception to this uh, metal ions are positive, non-metal ions are negative rule. And the exception is hydrogen. So hydrogen is a non-metal atom. However, we know that it's actually on the metal side of the table. It's above the alkali metals, group one. And there are, it could also be placed above group seven, the halogens, um, but based on partly this exception here, um, it's above group one, the alkali metals, because it does form a positive ion. So like the rest of the alkali metals in group one, they all lose one electron to become an ion to, for, to form a stable species and hydrogen as well. A hydrogen atom will also lose what its one outer electron to become a stable species. Hydrogen only has one electron, so once it's lost that, it actually doesn't have any electrons anymore. So a hydrogen ion is essentially just a nucleus with one proton and however many neutrons in it. The number of neutrons depends on what isotope you've got. Okay, so that if you are presented with a question as to where hydrogen is placed in the periodic table this is one of the things that you can mention is that it becomes a singly positively charged ion like the rest of the alkali metals which justifies its placement above group one group seven they all the atoms in group seven become a singly negative negatively charged ion so Hydrogen doesn't really fit in with that pattern, eh, which is one of the reasons why it's then not shown above group seven. But there are other reasons behind hydrogen's placement and there are arguments for why it should potentially be above group seven, but we'll get to those eventually. But this is just something to watch out for when you're talking about ions, is that hydrogen is an exception to that metal, not metal rule.